They're known as man's best friend for a reason. Dogs have been a staple in family life for centuries. And, might I add, they play the role of the cutest family member better than anyone, from purebreds to clones. Today, we're going to take a look at the most expensive pooches ever purchased. Number 3. Lancelot Encore $155,000 We all know the loss of a beloved pet can be absolutely devastating. Some get a cast of their pet's paw print, others make a lovely memorial, and then there are some that take it a little further. After losing their yellow Labrador Sir Lancelot to cancer, Edgar and Nina Otto managed to win a contest to have their trusted sidekick cloned. Thinking ahead, these dog lovers had a DNA sample of Sir Lancelot tucked away five years prior to his death just for this situation. While sheep, bulls, and even camels have been cloned prior to this, this was the first time the world would see a cloned dog. And that title came with a whopping price tag. It cost the Ottos $155,000 to clone Sir Lancelot. When asked about that price tag, Nina reportedly said, I would have gone higher. I would have done anything at that point. Though that's easy to say for Nina, who inherited her father's NASCAR fortune. I can't help but understand her sentiment when I look at that cute little face. Ah, he's a good boy indeed. Lancelot Encore, as he's affectionately named, has fit right in with his new family. There are another nine dogs in the Otto's home, all of whom warmed up to the new addition fairly quickly. He's even sent to share the same mannerisms as his predecessor. Number 2. Yang Si $500,000 our next dog brings us to China. Purchased just after Lancelot Encore in 2009, Yong Si No. 2 isn't a clone, as the name might suggest. He is, however, a Tibetan Mastiff, an extremely rare breed of dog with only 100 pure blood descendants thought to ever exist. The breed is a status symbol for the elite in China. Originally bred to keep sheep in line for nomadic tribes, it's hard to imagine this giant teddy bear serving that purpose now. I mean, just look at that face. Those cute paws. Those little black toe beans. Don't you just want to hug them all? <clears throat> I, uh, I digress. Because Tibetan Mastiffs are such an elite dog, there are several kennels in China dedicated to breeding them to be larger, fluffier, and cuter. Though I'm not sure the cuter is actually possible they've definitely been able to breed them larger. Because of this genetic meddling, the dogs can now reach over 200 pounds. For reference, that's about 800 quarter pounders with cheese. So, what made Yang Si No. 2 so special? One of the only purebred Tibetan Mastiffs left, Yang Si No. 2 came from a royal bloodline. When asked about the price of Yang Si, his buyer responded, gold as a price but this Tibetan Mastiff doesn't. Though that $500,000 price tag has been waving through the media quite loud and proud, it's nice to see how much value the owner puts on her dog. With a pup this adorable, one would expect quite a celebration bringing the dog home. For Yang Si No. 2, that celebration consisted of a convoy of 30 black Mercedes a massive crowd of dog lovers, and dozens of banners welcoming the new arrival. Number 1. Big Splash – $1.5 million At a price of $1.5 million, I can confidently say the next pooch on our list is a very, very good boy. A red Tibetan Mastiff, Big Splash, was purchased in 2011 by an unnamed wealthy coal baron. The adorable dog, also considered to be a purebred, was 11 months old and 180 pounds when he was brought to his forever home. The breeder, Lu Liang, couldn't disclose who exactly Big Splash's new owner was, but she did make a point to say she could see Big Splash was going to be loved. She also feels the price is entirely justified. While Big Splash was in her care, he was fed an expensive diet of chicken, beef, and even delicacies like abalone and sea cucumber. While that diet certainly beats kibble, 
there is another reason the dog is a sound investment. The new owner will be able to rent Big Splash out to breeders for thousands of dollars. I'm not so sure I'd be able to rent this angelic little pooch out to breeders, but in true millionaire fashion, it seems Big Splash's new owner has money on the mind. So, there you have it, some of the most expensive dogs ever to be sold. While these breeders and cloning agencies were able to put a price tag on these amazing animals, I can confidently say there's no money in the world that could truly show the value of a man's best friend, especially the precious ones at your local shelter. So, what did you think about these expensive dogs? Is the cost worth it for a purebred or a clone, or would you rather just get a rescue?